understanding. Who are you? I'm authentic. I'm authentic. Who are you? Who are you? What up, y'all? It's go time again today. I'm trying to get Storm out of this house, man. She will not act right. Watch this. As soon as I open the door, watch she roll over. Watch. <laughs> you gonna come? Storm, you gonna come? You gonna come? You gonna come? All she wanna do is roll over, bro. Get a belly rub, man. That's all she wanna do, man. But we about to take Storm into the doctor to get her first progesterone levels checked. Um, she started heat about I say about three days ago. Uh, I usually start the test uh by day five or something like that. But uh, they usually ready to go within day ten. Some people wait to day ten to get it tested. But every dog is different. That's why I go ahead and knock it out early. That way you don't miss that mark. Look at it, look at it, look at it. Another thing about Storm is she will not walk on a leash, bro. She just won't walk on a leash at all. So I gotta carry all this muscle inside wherever we go. <sighs> you try to walk on a leash, all she do is roll over. She'll come for a little while, then roll over. Boom. Bro, bro, you gotta get right one of these days. Let's go. All right, y'all, we off, we rolling. Uh, I was gonna bring my camera, but I had some stuff happen yesterday, bro. Some stuff happened yesterday, man. I, uh, me and Jazz got up early yesterday morning. I grabbed my camera because I barely ever use my camera these days, but the camera have more quality to me for the people who don't know i'm on the phone right now but the camera got way more quality to me and it looked more uh it give you more of a, a cinematic type vibe type feel when you're watching the vlogs to me but um i decided to take the camera you know vlog the whole trip down that we drove almost two hours there two hours back we vlogged the whole way we even met some people um with American bullies there, but I do have that footage, but I just don't have everything else, man. Like the most important points, the key points, gone. All that footage gone, man, out for the count. So I'm kinda, I'm kinda, I'm kinda hot about that. I ain't even gonna lie, bro, cause that was gonna be a good vlog, at least 45 minute vlog. I tell you what, I'll go ahead and show y'all the clips of when we was at the doctor's office and when we met the uh, American bully breeder. Go ahead and put that in now. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? Hi. What are you doing? How many litters you have a, a year? Uh, this one. These are my babies. I'm, I'm not a breeder. Oh, you just. This one. I just got two top of the line dogs, so why not? Might as well. Hit them when they want. I do it naturally, but they hit when they hit. I keep them apart. Yeah. When she's in heat, but I waited two years. Mm-hmm. That's, that's them too. Oh man, tight. You don't have an owner for, you don't have a buyer for this one? You, you I ain't posted it for sale yet. All I so that's the, the last one you gotta sell? That's the last one. All I gotta do you is need post this. it and she goes. I know, <laughs> I, I just told her I got some land. That's my female <laughs> as a puppy. Oh man, look at that. I do YouTube too. Okay. Yeah. You. That's my female daddy. That's my female mama. Mm. That's the bloodlines. Let's see. My male is a puppy. Mm -hmm. Mama. You can't come with me. Daddy. You can't come with me. Bloodline. Oh, uh, bro. They look some nice puppies. Though. First litter I produced. Five puppies, all blue tries, just like. And when was that? When was two years ago. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to go flashback. Two years later. 
Here is the runt, the smallest puppy out the last litter is female. That's Maggie, that's the smallest female. Ooh. So worst case scenario, that runt gonna look like oh, that. Oh man. Here's now, this is gonna be it. This is your game changer. Mm. That's your keeper, right? That's my keeper. Oh, baby girl. Watch, I'm gonna start getting you stacked out early. <laughs> She the only one I bought a chain for. I got her a little cute pink chain. She outgrew it in two days. I had to buy a different one. Oh yeah. She built like a male. And if you look, she way more compact than the males. Right. See how much longer he is? Uh-huh. All right, so after that, another part that we missed that I didn't get on the phone, that I actually got on the camera that was lost. We surprised this young lady, man. Um, her mama, locked the dog in and everything about a month ago and we we're supposed to give her the dog um the end of august which is next month it's a whole month away but she hit me up she said she can't wait she's so excited she know her daughter will be excited so she decided to um to surprise our daughter with the puppy so we did the whole thing i'm talking about went live i had my daughters on the live and everything and I was vlogging with the camera, but I completely lost all that footage, like her reaction and everything, completely lost. So I got her mama to send me uh, her footage. She took just a little, little glimpse of footage. So I'm gonna put that in now. Y'all making my nerves. <laughs> oh my God. Look, I'm. <laughs> so she has no clue. Oh, yeah. 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 What you got? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Lord. Move>, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Happy <laughs> early birthday. <laughs> <laughs> you better not drop him. <laughs> I probably don't have to say this, but I'll never be using that camera again. I can't trust it, man. I can't trust it, and I won't trust it. So it's the phone from here on out. You know, uh, I'd rather the quality of the camera, but the phone is more reliable in my book. So this is what it is. Fast forward to today. Uh, right now, me and Stormy headed to get her progesterone levels tested. Uh, like I said, when we was in the house, it's like day three or four, something like that. I always like to get them tested early because every female is different. Every last female is different. Um, I'm to the point now where I can pretty much gauge jazz like to the day. You know, um, I know like this is the third rip, the third little with jazz. So I know jazz to the day, you know. So uh, I took her down there uh, like a week after she first started heat and i just got the results back this morning you know of course they said she had a baseline they're gonna test again in a couple days which is cool you know so uh all i had to do was let the stud owner know you know everybody's in line everybody good to go everybody on standby and we for sure gonna make this fire fire litter and stormy stormy got a fire fire stud lined up too man so uh like I said, she started her heat like maybe three days ago, three, four days ago. And I don't know exactly how her body worked. So we're gonna go early. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a baseline, but you never know. You never know, you know, better safe than sorry. So we're gonna go ahead to a new vet and uh, have her tested. It's gonna be our first time going here. This vet was recommended to me by BAM, man by any means man bam bullies y'all make sure y'all hit them up they local they ought to be or two so uh y'all make sure y'all hit them up you know they got them they got some fire cooking up over there too so uh, appreciate you brother but uh getting back on track um stormy over there she the reason i was gonna really wait till next week you know but i'm starting to see signs of her uh you know the it's kind of dying down you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna get too graphic because I don't know who watching, but it's getting lighter. You know, it's getting real, real lighter. 
which means she getting closer to that point of being ready, you know? So I'm gonna go ahead and get her in there, check her levels just in case, just in case, man. You know, um, better safe than sorry, like I said. So it's starting to rain up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this camera down and uh, get us to the vet safe. And I'll pick y'all up when we get there, man. Let's go. All right, y'all, we out here. Um, just pulled up to the vet. About to get stormy out. Look at her, man. Look at my girl. Look at my girl, man. I'm surprised she ain't roll over yet. Want a belly rub, but we about to get out here. Look at her. She fresh, ain't she? She fresh, ain't she? <laughs> Y'all can't tell me stormy ain't pressure, man. All angles. All angles. You can't tell me this girl ain't pressure, man. We about to go get her checked out. Got her uh, leash, which I know she ain't gonna walk on it. Come on, let's get down. Come here, Stormy. Come here. Put you on the leash that you ain't gonna walk on. Let's see what she gonna do. Come on. Come on. Oh, look at her. Man, I can't believe this. Bro, this is the first time Stormy ever walked on a leash. First time ever, bro. I ain't lying. That is crazy. That is crazy, man. Not Stormy. I can't believe this. I can't even believe what I'm seeing right now. Come on, girl. Stormy. Come on. So, got my girl Storm in here. We just did the PG test. She got a little um, arm wrapped up right there. But uh, I don't know. I know we. I know we got to be early. I know we got to be real early. But like I said, better safe than sorry, man. Better safe than sorry. All right, Stormy. So we gonna get up right, and we gonna get out of here. Get us some food, man. You ready to eat again, Stormy? Hmm. Ready to eat again? All right, y'all, so, man, I've been in there. Uh, I've been in there uh, uh, right at two hours, bro. Two hours, man. That's the longest I've ever been in the bed. I ain't eat the day yet. I ain't do none of that, man. It's like one o'clock. Um, but long story short, she is not ready yet. She had a baseline, uh, just like Jazz is at her baseline. Um, so, they ain't really making no noise right now. But, uh, see if I can get over here. But I will be bringing her back on Monday. You know, Doc told me to wait until Wednesday, Thursday next week. And from what I find, that's a no-go, you know? That's a no-go. You you wanna, uh, you wanna at least do every two or three days. Uh, because every dog is different, especially since you don't know your dog. Uh, if it was Jazz, no problem. I like I, I just know her, you know. And every time, it's on point. Every single time, it's on point. Stormy, on the other hand, I gotta learn. I gotta learn how her body work. I gotta learn how her body take to certain things. So uh, to be safe, we gonna keep going back every single time. Every two days, every two or three days, we getting a check. We getting a check. You know, that's how we coming with. But um, for the people out there who complain about prices for Frenchies and all this and all that, man, let me tell you something. Stormy was a very, very expensive dog. The stud I'm taking her to is a very, very quality stud. So they're going to make some quality puppies, you know. You get what you pay for. And another thing, man, these progesterone tests every two or three days, $120 a piece. Hundred and twenty dollars a pop. So, don't think for one second uh, what we do as breeders is just you know stack money up to the ceiling. We got a lot of money flying out. We got a lot of a lot of losses that we take at times. You know, so um, when we, when you see the price, just know it's priced there for a reason. You know, it's priced there for a reason. Don't try to shortchange. Don't try to talk down because 
we actually put the work in. We, we put a lot, a lot of work in. I could have been doing anything in the world right now, but I'm taking care of these dogs, man. I'm handling business out here, you know? So, uh, um, with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure y'all follow the Instagram, authenticated on Instagram, authentic.frenchies underscore on Instagram. Man, I'm riding around here hungry. I'm about to get something to eat, man. Until the next video, Authentic Benny, I'm out.